Hey, it's Krez. In this video, I'm gonna show you one way that you can make a round California drywall patch. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I'll show you why you probably actually don't need to ever know how to do this. The California patch, Cali patch, butterfly patch, just standard drywall patch, whatever you go by, it comes in handy. This drywall patch is pretty convenient because you don't have to mess around with any wood backing or any paper tape. You're really just using the finished paper face of the drywall as your paper tape. It works best for patches that are too large for just joint compound, but not so large that they need their own weight supported. So this will be good for small to medium drywall patches. Primary place where you're gonna use a round style patch like this is gonna be probably doing things like one, it's your perfectly round circles. So patching over where uh, ductwork used to come in or recessed cans or any other kind of round penetration in your drywall. This one in particular is from a drywall exhaust vent that is no more and needs to be patched. We're going to take our adjustable hole cutter that we would normally use for cutting in like a recessed can light uh, and you can measure it to know the size of your hole with a tape measure or you can just uh, scribe it, which is essentially just pull it up to the hole and figure out your size. Adjust your set screws so you know that you have the right size. We're gonna attach it to our drill and then we're just gonna grab a set, a scrap piece of drywall. We're gonna wanna flip it over so the back side is up facing us and then we're gonna drill our pilot hole. So we'll center it, drill in this pilot hole. Then this is the important part. You wanna make sure that your drill is nice and level or rather perpendicular to the face of the drywall. If you're crooked at all, your blades are gonna cut through one side faster than the other and you're gonna puncture that finished paper face and we don't wanna do that. We're really just trying to cut through the back paper and then your gypsum core. You wanna get as close to the front paper face of the drywall as you can and be very careful, don't be afraid to go slow. We're just gonna cut out this tear out with a sharp knife. That way there'll be nothing in the way when we come in with the joint compound. If you do slice through the finished paper face, it's not the end of the world. Just cut it off, grab another piece of scrap and start again. Don't be afraid to go slow. Next you're gonna to wanna to score it and we're gonna snap off. There's a few different ways you can score it, but essentially we're just snapping it off. So then you wanna peel your paper backing and your gypsum core very slowly off the front paper face. So we don't wanna actually take off the front paper face. We wanna leave that intact. Paper finished face is gonna become what will be like our paper tape essentially. If your edges are torn or jagged or if they curl forward too much, right? You don't want too much of a curl because they could curl off the wall when you go to install it. So we can just trim it down. So just take a sharp knife and cut that paper back. If you get any of that little gypsum core left behind, we're just gonna scrape it off because that buildup is gonna create a bulge in our patch, so we wanna get rid of it. Before we butter it up, we're gonna wanna dry fit the patch just to make sure it fits in our hole and that it's not bulging out too much. Next, we're ready to butter it up, so we're gonna butter up the wall pretty good with some joint compound, and then you can also take the patch and butter it up around the edge of your gypsum core just to make sure you don't get any air bubbles in there. And we're gonna squeeze out the excess to flatten out this patch and really embed that front paper face in there. I'm just picking out some dirt chunks that got stuck in my joint compound. That's always annoying when that happens. So I don't really need to go through how to finish the rest of this. It's pretty much just like finishing any drywall. Your basic goal is you're gonna build up a bunch of layers to try to get this to disappear. I put a couple more on after this. And then you're pretty much just gonna sand, whether you wet sand or dry sand, prime and paint. And then hopefully it blends right into your wall and you'll never notice there was a hole there. And that's a wrap, or rather a patch. So full disclosure, why don't you actually need to know how to make a round patch? You could just start with squaring off the hole with a drywall saw. So if your initial hole is round, or let's say it's more, not like perfectly round, it's more like a fist, like someone put a fist through the drywall, idiot. But if that happened and that's the kind of hole you're punching or say a doorknob went through the drywall, that's pretty common. Uh, you can square that hole off with a saw and then you can just cut a square California butterfly patch. So no fancy circular shapes needed, but in case you wanted to know how to make a round one, that is one way you can do it. You can do it with other hole saws. Making a round Cali patch is possible, now you know. Or if you're just looking to pick up cool drywall tricks to impress your friends, because obviously that's the kind of things friends are impressed with, is your drywall patching abilities. And you know, circles are amazing, because circles are difficult. 
Square, square is hard enough, but man, you start getting circular. Radii, radiuses. You can check out my channel for more drywall videos, home improvement or carpentry or building science videos. And with that, may your drywall patches always blend in like Where's Waldo? Except better because if you look hard enough, you could always see that guy and you don't want that in your drywall patches. No, sir.